We live in dark times. I mean, arguably some of the darkest times in recent history. Dark hour, indeed. And in the midst of this darkness, we can take our time, energy, resources, pulpits, and platforms to curse the darkness, to damn the darkness, to whine about the darkness, complain, protest the darkness, or we can take all that energy and turn on the light. Mm -hmm. So the mandate, the clarion call from Jesus in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16, you are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. You are the light of the world. And a city on a hill cannot be hidden. And neither do you light a lamp and place it under a bowl, but rather you place it on its stand so it can provide light to everyone and everything in the room. That's the call. It's to be light. Rather than complaining about the darkness, why not turn on the light? And there are certain, like, components that guide me. I call it my prophetic rubric. One is, today's complacency is tomorrow's captivity. No doubt. That's right. Second, we are what we tolerate. Third, there is no such animal as comfortable Christianity. Fourth, we should never sacrifice truth on the altar of political, cultural, or sexual expediency. Mm -hmm. And number five, and respectfully, while the church is waiting for Jesus to come down, Jesus is waiting for his church to stand up. Yes. That's yes. exactly right. Yes.